Hey, Planeswalkers, we got a fun one here for you today on the episode where we break down Gruel Ramp Decathlon deck 7 0 by our friend Fire Shoes. Congratulations, bud, on knocking this one out of the park. Excited to cover it here on the channel today for you. Now, with that said, we will break things down in the timestamps below where I break down the strategy objective of this list. We'll go play that competitive magic and standard best of one, and then we'll pull it all back together as we always do. Now, with that said, great ways to stay connected down below. Thank you for your support as always. Appreciate the likes and the subs and other great ways to support the channel, so thank you. Now, with that, I know you're here to see this deck. However, if you happen to have a question or comment throughout the episode, do let me know. I love to hear from you as always, and feel free to swing by the Discord server, my fellow Planeswalkers. All right, so here's what we got going on. Gruel Ramp Standard Best of One. I really like this mix-up. We've done a little bit of red and a little bit of green uh, heavily here for the Decathlon uh, decks that we've covered. Now we're kind of mashing the two together, and I like the concept that we have here today with Gruel Ramp. So what we have is a ton of mana uh, poppers here between uh, the Stalwart, the Stone Seeker, and the Gallic Readers. So here you can get that tap treasure token. You can get a lot of things moving really quickly. You got Fable the Mirror Breaker. Um, we have Argothonian Opportunist and Arbalist Engineers. So this one is awesome as well. You can create that tap power stone. You can deal one damage. You can put a plus one, plus one counter on dark creature. Gains trample and haste till end of turn. So lots of viable options here under three. Now we can quickly get to the Might Stone um, and Weak Stone here, strap something or add the, um, strap something, draw two cards, which is great, and this thing's gonna add two mana. Now at the top end, we're taking advantage of all the best of the artifacts here from Brothers War that I'm super excited about with Cityscape Leveler, Skitterbeam Battalion, and Portal to Phyrexia. So again, stuff that we've covered here recently um, in terms of the amount of red and green as well, um, and, and those archetypes, but certainly excited, like I said, to smash them together for Gruul here today. Now, a very, very powerful list ramps heavily and we're excited to take advantage of this again today with fire shoes's list so let's go ahead and play some competitive magic here um, and get moving and get grooving as i like to say all right really looking forward to this one i really enjoyed the ramp list um in particular something different uh relative to what we normally play here uh, for some of the more competitive lists a little bit of an off meta um, something that can give us some flavor uh, as always. All right, let's see what we get here in our first matchup. Spicy sugar it is. So we go first. Now we have two rampers. I'm going to keep this because we still have mana as well. Um, tapped, tapped, and one damage to us. So we'll play this first. So we can drop these next. I might play this one, then this one. It's kind of what I'm thinking. If we get Cityscape in there right away, that's huge value. Most, maybe most likely we'll get burned off here. We'll find out relatively quickly. Nope. Not yet, anyway. Now we can take advantage of the Fable here, which is what we're gonna do. Should trigger. Let's go with a tapped treasure token. So we can get really quickly, very fastly ramped. Yes. So we got some pretty powerful stuff here at the top end. So we'll see what our opponent has though. Same thing here. Uh, we will submit zero. That one. So we got some good stuff that we can do here. Um, create that tap power token. We can get moving super heavily here on this one. Uh, let's go create that treasure token. And then we can also do this again. Can't do that. So we should have waited. We'll put a plus one, plus one. 
and let's go create a tap power token. So this is a ton of ramp. So we got six, seven. We can certainly do this on the next turn. Let's see what they do if they want to block there. Now, the good news is once we get our main here, we'll be able to do a lot of stuff and main by Kiki Jiki. Now we're unfortunately one short, which is super, super unfortunate here. There we go. Let's get rid of this first. Now they got the ramp with this. I was worried about the reflection. That's fair. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll be able to play Portal. Ooh. Depending on how this goes, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play that. Perfect. Exactly what we were hoping they would do. Block our guy. So now we play this. Now, as long as they don't have that again, we'll be okay. If they do, they got it. If they don't, we will be very close to having the match here because we can copy with reflection of Kiki Jiki and it's gonna get nasty real fast. But I'm gonna go with they might have something. To get my portal to Phyrexia off, we're in trouble. Grab that. And we can play this one. Let's get rid of this thing. Off the ramp. That's going to go next. Now we have lethal if we get through this turn. 
there we go. Awesome. Ranked perfectly. We got to see everything in the list by using our opponent's cards against them. Super powerful. They blocked the way we were hoping they would block so we could wipe the board and recover there with our gruel ramp. All right, on to our second match here with Fire Shoes' list. Gordon Kanan. Board. All right, we can keep this. We have good ramp here. Could be an interesting list. We'll see if they have a counter spell. Very well might. Give it a shot. I would expect the counter here if they're running it. Nope. All right. be tricky we'll see depending on how the control list plays out Got our two. There goes the kill. Maybe? Very powerful ramp here, turn three already, though. For six. Very powerful. Again, lots of control here. Let's see if we can get the sign. Now we don't quite have enough fully yet. I'll leave our stalwart back. much during my travels let me show you this is what you get for hurting my people close but not close enough still Azor's control for now I have got new moves to teach you uh, five. Let's see if we can sneak that on. Or draw two. There we go. Ooh. 
didn't matter there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Trample on haste. Let's go over power stone. Because we'd go in and attack, they would use the wanderer and pull it off anyway. So we're better off having what we need here. Could be a little bit of a tough match, like I said at the beginning. Now they may counter here. Such a problem. We need to get them low within space that we can hit them. Is really what we're looking for. Two, three, six, eight. So we can play Cityscape here if we need to. Or on Devious Cover Up. They do it. Did not. So wait. They may do it post. No. <clears throat> there it is. to two cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Let's see. The exile just absolutely destroys this though. We need to get to our skitter. Skitter's gonna do it for us. Cityscape Leveler is there to take whatever we need off the board at this point. And a refill is gonna destroy us like that. They kept their two open so that they can still counter if they need. Get that on now. Good news is we just need one more land and then we can keep all the stuff that we have here in our hands and continue to play I'm not overconfident you're just underwhelming my judgment is fine And we're still good here. So we'll try it. I'm going to assume this is going to get countered. We'll get the Wandering Emperor off.
see you later. They're gonna go find their exile. The problem is they can keep reloading here. That's the biggest issue we have with this deck. Because of this. These two are just killer cards. Still have 54 in their library. Too bad we couldn't nuke their lands. I hope you're ready to lose. I don't think we're gonna be able to come back from this, honestly. Um, because they have too much and we're not hitting the draw that we have. They'll get everything that they this need what you get when they need it. We'll give it two more turns. If we can't lock them out, I'm gonna go to the next match. Um just to be more efficient here. Because the likelihood of us winning at this point is relatively low. Yeah, that's a good game. Because now they can counter everything that they need to. With Hullbreaker! Ugh. So tough. Even though we did really, really well there on the ramp, it was beautiful to see us get moving and have the stuff at the top end. Just really not enough to overcome that, and it would have been a slug fast just to stay in. So I want to make it nice and easy there. All right, pants it is. We'll go first. I will keep this. Because we can get to five here. Uh-oh. Might be in a little bit of trouble with three of those. Ugh. We'll see. And if we hit another... And uh, Jeskai control deck, another control list, we're going to be in trouble. There you go. Swing for the hills. The ramp. Not there. The problem. Is a problem. And no on earth. We'll see. It's going to get interesting. Yes, I overcommitted. Yes, I know that. But we needed to because there really wasn't much that we could do there. Uh, which is just too bad. Too bad. And we're not in a good ramp. Probably should have had a little bit less there at the start. Not much we could do though, unfortunately. Two control lineups though. And they're going to be similar to what we have, which is a problem. And they're ahead of us on the ramp. Ooh. 
Which means I can grab our stuff here. Which is a problem. Is a problem. We'll see if we can get there though. From a graveyard that should have took Cityscape. That's what I would have took. From a graveyard. Not dead yet. Twelve. If they had enough. Now I'm dead. Ah, bomber. Ramp lost to Jeskai ramp kind of very very unfortunate there if we would have had a little bit more at the beginning i think we probably could have been okay um no we did not have fun <laughs> no we always have fun but i like to give them the frowny face when we lose because that is the frowny face there for you all right on to our end so overall really really fun deck um nonetheless even though we did not go Three and all. We did go one and two. We had a great start on the first match. Really saw this deck in action and power through. Additionally, then we hit more of the control lists um, for the other two matchups, which can be a problem, as you can see for this list, if you're not hitting where you need to. And then just too much on that circular loop with the Azorus deck. So overall, super, super fun. Again, this was a seven and O decathlon list for standard best of one by our friend Fire Shoes. Um, appreciate everyone tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Appreciate the likes. Thank you for the subs and the members as always and the additional support. Um, with that, Planeswalkers, again, we'll see you soon. We got a ton of stuff here on the channel. Questions, comments, do let me know. Feel free to swing by the Discord server and other great ways to stay in the know. All right, until next time, Planeswalkers, we'll see you again soon. Mithras out.